Hey guys, Elvo Stockman here. I'm talking to Eric Jones, the man, the myth, the card and coin legend. He just released this twisted, which I, I was about to call a trick, but is really a lot more. And so I'm really glad, Eric, that you could join us. Uh, how's it going today? Great. How about yourself? Fantastic. <laughs> um, can you tell me a little bit more about Twisted? Because I got it. I watched it. I love it. Um, and I really was curious what your uh, you know, day-to-day -day use of it is and, and how often you perform it. What, what can people who don't know expect when they get it? Uh, that's it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, basically, what you're going to get when you receive Twisted is a set of cards uh, with one gimmick, one special card. Um, which will do a large array of minor miracles, uh, ranging from cards across to really cool color changes to transposition effects, uh, even twisting the aces. Um, it's really a utility device. I've always considered it more like a flipper coin for cards. So that's pretty much what you're going to get, along with all the other cards you need to do all the effects included on the DVD. The cool thing about it is the effects that we've... Uh, put into the DVD Twisted is just the starting point. Uh, there are so many other effects possible with this set of cards that we haven't even filmed that I've come up with, that you will come up with once you uh, see some of the uses for the cards, and it's really only limited by your imagination. That's really cool. The, the, that's actually the, one of the reasons I wanted to ask you about it, because you know, the, I think the misconception when people first watch the video is that the is that it is a trick like that a standalone right. trick and you can't really reuse it but just like you said with the um like a flipper coin for cards like it's it, it's such a cool gimmick and it's so useful and i could see i could see, I, like i i almost wish it wasn't called twisted which sounds like a trick i wish it was actually just called like you know flipper card or something or not well obviously not flipper card but just like so something that sounds a little bit more like i don't know like a tool because i could see i could see five or ten other guys doing dvds that that include this you know exactly exactly yeah it's really great it's really great and and it, it feels like it will last a long time um but how long do you expect it to last and what do people do if it breaks because I, I heard some discussion about that well, let's, let's be honest. Uh, the gimmick is comprised of pasteboard and thread. So when you put those two together, you know, it can last quite a while depending on your handling, how uh, heavy-handed you are, how delicate you are with the cards. Um, so because it is a thread trick, there is a possibility that the cards will break. However, I've had the same set of cards that I originally started with and I still use these cards today, and I came up with the trick a couple of years ago. Uh, so it's, you know, people buy loops by the pound because they go <laughs> so quickly. And then you have people who, you know, I know people who've used the same 10 or 12 loops for years. Yeah, that's funny. It, it's funny, too, because uh, I feel like people have come to accept the fact that you need to buy more loops. But, like, you know, just like, you know, I feel like the, the, con the conception is that if you buy a card gimmick, it should just last forever. But let's right. say disaster strikes and the gimmick breaks. What do people do? Send it back to me. I'll make you another one. You just send me the uh, broken thread along with the broken gimmick. You send it to me. Uh, you'll be, if you purchase the gimmick, you'll be made aware of my information. You send it back to me in a self-addressed stamped envelope. Uh, and uh, once I get it, I'll prepare it, and I'll send it back to you. So you get a mulligan. That sounds really a little too easy, Eric. Couldn't you have <laughs> added some kind of tape or paperwork to the deal? I'm sorry, say, say that one more time? I just think that sounds a little too easy. No, well, you know, it's, a, it's, it's my goal, along with you guys at Penguin and Cosmo Magic as well, to make sure that the customers have every opportunity to have, be successful with the yeah, that's uh, that's really cool. I, I got to say, a lot of people don't offer that. And I feel like, I mean, I've heard some people say, oh, you know, what do I do if it, like, breaks or whatever. But I feel like this would last for six months to a year at least, right? At least. At yeah. Least. That's great. That's really great. Um, And I, I don't... I don't mean to advertise this, but I feel like if it broke and you were particularly resourceful, you could probably find a way to fix it yourself even, maybe. 
very much. Yeah, you probably could. Um, cool. Well, that's really awesome. Anyway, we got bogged down in details of uh, what if disaster happens, but let's talk about for a second the more positive and uplifting aspects of this trick. Um, it is so versatile. You can do all kinds of um, twisting and flipping and uh, even I, I, I even started looking at an invisible deck style trick with it. That would be cool. I never so, thought it was cool. so uh, what's your favorite of the tricks? Is there, there's like five? Is it five routines that are included in the Twisted DVD? I consider six only because of the title effect Twisted, which is the Twisting the Ace routine. Uh -huh. Also, it has two techniques. You can either uh, do it uh, at waist level so that you can do it completely surrounded, or you can do it at chest height, which is going to be comparable to doing Guy Hollingworth's Twisting the Aces called Waving the Aces from his book. The advantage to that being that you're not using all of the difficult sleight of hand, and the magic is just as visual. Yeah, that's really cool. I, I really <laughs> love the presentations that were on the DVD. I thought they were really, really strong. Um, is that the one? Is the, is the uh, title effect the one that you do most often? No. Honestly, uh, the two that I do the most often, uh, even though I love the Twisted, it's not the one I do the most often. The two that I do the most often would be Twisted Grasshopper uh -huh. Sandwich with a Twist. And then the third one would be uh, the Extreme Twist, which is my hand doing the Paul Harris's Bizarre Twist. So I, what I hope is by the next time we get a chance to talk, you've given this gimmick a name. Like... So we don't just have to keep calling it the twisted gimmick because, you, you know, I don't know, just something, you know, I don't know. You, uh, you, you're good. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, you're good at it. Uh, if, if, okay, cool. We'll call it, I'll call it a flipper card until I hear otherwise. Um, <laughs> so the other thing, let's see. Yeah. And so, and then there were some comments about, um, you know, the, the, the gimmick being visible, but you know, I think that given practice and given just a little bit of audience and, and prop management, I don't see that being an issue. And is that the same experience? Seems like seems like when people have actually seen you live performing it at your lecture, uh, when they meet you, that nobody who sees you actually walks away and thinks, oh, it's not it's it's not good with angles or it's or it's visible. Everyone seems to think, oh, it's bulletproof. You can do it surrounded, like apparently you said you do at your lecture. Uh, there is a couple people who maybe got the DVD and thought, oh, this isn't, this isn't, uh, you know, bulletproof or whatever, but, but, uh, is it just about practicing a little bit more? Is it about how you hold your hands and cards? Well, here's a, here's a couple of things that I'll say about that. Uh, one about being bulletproof. At my lecture, if you ever attend one of my lectures and one of my talks, uh, there's a section of my lecture where I do an entire set of magic completely surrounded. I invite people to sit and stand at all angles, uh, and I perform quite a few of the effects from Twisted, and it's completely bulletproof. There's nothing to be seen. If you look at the over-the-shoulder shots from the DVD, if we just did it as a performance, there would be nothing to see. There are no angle considerations whatsoever. Uh, another thing that I'll say, uh, for those who feel that the gimmick may be visible, I really can't combat that other than saying that it's no more visible than, uh, let's say, uh, going back to a flipper coin. A flipper coin seems to be a single coin. Of course, those in the know know that it can act as two coins. Uh, but with a little bit of audience management, uh, a little bit of confidence, and a little bit of practice, it can be a completely invisible tool. That's a really that's a really good analogy and comparison. I think that the the flipper coin comparison is really good. Most of the time, it's in motion. If you just don't, I mean, unless it's put under a magnifying glass or it sits there or it's handed out, I mean, it doesn't seem to be a problem. Yeah, that's that's great. I, I mean, I was really impressed. Like, I, I, I saw the demo, and I was really impressed by how it looked. But actually, I was more impressed at how simple the gimmick is. I was expecting something, I don't know, I was expecting something more complicated. You know how... It seems we always expect something more complicated when we're buying a magic trick, <laughs> uh, you know, like tubes and like cables and pulleys and stuff. But no, it was really nice, and it just seems so versatile. I, I feel almost like it could be like the gimmick and then a separate just a DVD of routines for it, because I feel like people are going to want to use this for a lot of stuff. Anyway, Eric, 
thank you so much for uh, for joining us and for helping to clarify some of the things people have been saying and for sharing uh, your thoughts on um, on Twisted because it's it's really beautiful I, and I I think it's my favorite card thank thing you. I've seen in a really long time. Yeah, great work. I do appreciate it. Yeah, thanks a lot. So hope to talk to you soon and have a great night. Thanks for having me, guys. I hope you enjoy Twisted. Thanks a lot, Eric. See ya. Bye.